Try to access all the corners. From rust and... Of course, as I say, they very easy start to rust. from it which I released inside it it was of course rusty and looked like a, a lost case here you have the fire plate, but I'm going to uh, cut here, there, and I put another straight piece here. It's good enough because this is just guiding the smoke, and it's intact here, even though it looks a little bent. And there are some stones that was uh, uh, cement stones, and this is this, and. Uh, they fall apart, but I figure I can reuse them, and uh, it will be okay. I uh, glue them in there with the cement and uh, make it complete again. Okay, you can put the handle on there, and you have this one on the bottom, so you turn the trash down there. I brushed it, and I figured this is good enough. More than enough. So now it has a protective layer. And I didn't spray down other things. When I finish the spray, I keep this upside down to clean the hole here. Clean the top hole on the spray box so I can use it next time. It's not blocked.
wrench. I had it the other day. It's very easy to rust. As I told many times, there was one of those uh, for the glass, which is uh, interrupt the uh, edge here. So I changed it a little. So that's the front door, and that's the oxygen uh, regulator. Oh, that was clumsy of me. A little rusty on the back side. I thought, no, it was on the down door. It was not this one I, I uh, made to move. It was this one. So there is an oxygen. Uh, okay, so it stops there. Why is that? Because it's not still all the way down. This one I uh, lubricated and brushed it. But uh, to uh, clean up the treads a little. Start to look like uh, something now. I think I go to cement, mix some cement, put the stones in it. I have the glass. I wondered a little bit if I should take off, but then I need to drill it off. Uh, small attachment that holds the glass on place. But I don't think I have to. And what I talk about is this one, this one, this one, and this one. But I think I just can turn it. I don't need to take them off because the screws here is, is impossible to take out. You need to bore them out and make new threads. And uh, But I put a gasket here, 2 millimeter gasket. And put the glass on place and try just to swing those over without damaging the glass then I don't need to take out the screws I can uh, I can switch them slightly with this uh, tool Not really sure how to mount the, the smoke bender plate, but I'm going to cut on it now and try to give it another piece of mind. I mean, another replace it, another piece. So I'm going to cut away a part, a piece of it. Yeah, there it came.
So this is a very rough made uh, repair. So tomorrow it's uh, dry and off and I mount it into the stove. So next step will be to mount in those stones on the one side, only the one side, so I can get in this uh, plate here, this uh, smoke uh, guiding plate which is laying there to dry. But next step will be trying to mount uh, the glass on the door without taking out those screws. There I have the door and I need to have the glass behind those and I need to uh, without taking out the screws and without damaging the glass I wiggle them a little so they move pretty freely need to have some sort of glass fiber gasket for the window have to be there Now the gasket is on place, and the question is, am I able to mount the glass? Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's a little hard one. Dangerous, this is dangerous. I don't know. Try to kick it up a little. I don't want to break the glass, of course. I just could bend it up a little. To release the pressure a little. So it's not that 
hard pressure and don't touch the edge of the glass is that possible I use some power here yeah and then this one glass is on place door looking okay Gasket is sticking up a little, but no big deal. Yeah, it can be like that. It's good enough, I guess. Acceptable. Sticking up a little bit. could remove it with a Stanley knife if I want to later on now next step will be finding the correct stone here and to start on the left side and complete the left side inside the stove Take a look, could it be this one? No. It must be like that, yes. But this, this side I want to make finish, okay. I found where that should be. And then, it's this one. The puzzle pieces. Cool. It will be okay. It's a pretty nice stove. It has a squirrel on the side and it's made in Denmark and its name is Murser. Don't know more about the name, number, model.